Hello friends, welcome to Good Taker Lead Code Tutorial. Here we are going to solve a popular coding interview problem, FizzBuzz. Write a program that outputs a string representation of numbers from 1 to n, but for multiples of 3 it should output Fizz instead of a number, and for the multiples of 5 output Buzz. For numbers which are multiples of both 3 and 5 outputs FizzBuzz. So for example, given an input number n, that's 15, we should return an array of a string value 1, 2, 3, 4, 4 buzz, feeds, 7, 8, feeds, buzz, 11, feeds, 13, 14, feeds, buzz. So feeds, buzz is a children game. So it's a game to teach children about division. So children generally sit in a circle. Uh, children player design to go first and see the number 1 and each player counts one number in turn. However, any number divisible by 3 is replaced by the word fifth, and then any number divisible by 5 will be replaced by the word bus. Numbers divisible by both 3 and 5 becomes fifth bus. So a player who hesitates or makes a mistake is eliminated from the game. So we are going to write a program to simulate this children game. So hope you understand, I draw this picture. So we have an input value that's n is 15. And we could simply have an index value i to iterate from 1 to this input value 1 to 15. So, so if we can have a like a loop to iterate from 1 to 15. So if the index value is not divisible by 3 and uh, also not divisible by 5, we can directly output the string value. So 1, 2, and if the index value is divisible by 3, so we can output the feed. So if the input value is divisible by 5, we can output the bus. And if this index value is divisible by both 3 and 5, so what we should return is a feeds bus. Output is a feeds bus. So for all of these strings, we need to add to a array, a array list. So that's a uh, data type we need to return for this problem. So go back to here. I'm going to demonstrate coding in Java. So as we see, this function returns a list of a string. So that's a return data type. So we can have a variable called result. And then it's a instantiate with the array list. And as we said, we need to iterate this from 1 to n. So we can instantiate an index variable i from 1 and reach to the n, that's n. And i plus plus. So if this i is divisible by both 3 and 5. We should add feeds bus to the result array list. And if this i is divisible only by 3, we should add to the result uh, array list and uh, if that's an um, um, index value divisible by 5 we should add bar to the result array list so if the value uh, index value 
is not divisible by 3 and uh, is also not divisible by 5. We should uh, just add the index value. To get the string value of this integer, we can use uh, integer dot to string method to get the string value of this integer. So, and uh, what we should return for this problem is the result. So pay attention here. So this if else the sequence does matters. So we need to check the the index whether it is divisible by both three and five first. So that have a uh, uh, like a precedence over the other uh, condition. So if both three and five we add to the fifth part and we will not add the feeds or just add the bonds. So that's the one we need to pay attention. So here, I will click the submit button. Okay, accept it. So the solution is correct. So as you can see, this is a relatively simple, but it's also a popular coding problem. I hope you enjoy watching this video. So this is a good taker. So be a good taker and take for good. So thank you for watching and thank you for your subscription to our, my channel. So see you next time.